Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hadaya. And we can see we have the power of three is back. Yes. If you can just let us know that you can hear us clearly and you can hear the sound, etc. I'm coming from my mobile today rather than my laptop. My laptop is, as you know, sometimes it freezes. It's a little bit temperamental. I know we're out of Mercury retrograde, etc. But I wanted to be on the safe side. And of course, who do we have in the house? We have. Diane, of course, from Diane's Tarot, and of course we have Lady G from uh, Lady G's Tarot, and I oh, always keep forgetting the, the, the spiritual enlightenment and upliftment, and all the wonderful goodness. Uh, <laughs> the I think you added. Cover. I think I've added. <laughs> yes, I've added. I've added a bit. And um, so in today's show, in today's show, we're actually going to cover, aren't we? We were just having a brief discu a discussion before we started the show, and I'll do some shout-outs and stuff like that. But there have been stories that we've covered, all of us have covered individually on our channels, uh, but we want to kind of look at, again, because things have developed. Um, we want to talk about Alec Baldwin, and we're also going to look at the these extra document releases that um, Joe Biden has come up with to kind of basically throw 45 under the bus. So we're going to kind of look look at that. We're going to look at Brian Laundrie again, because Diane, Diane has, has got some ideas about things. And I think it's cool. It's always good to investigate. And we'll discuss some of her concerns and contradictions. And I think Lady G as well, you're looking at things. And of course, I'll just do it from my UK perspective. I think you're right. I think there is a bit more to the story than than what appears there there are some inconsistencies there and of course we'll be looking at china again but from a different perspective um last saturday lady g and i we looked at china in terms of taiwan but now they've got this new missile thing which is i i, I really don't know that much about the story i've only heard it in reference but it sounds extraordinary oh and another one even though we covered Facebook in the show last week, there's been yet mm, another yeah. development, which is this this artificial reality. What is it called? Meta something? Meta. Yeah, meta. Right. So we can see just in the world, even though we are revisiting um, subjects, they've changed significantly. So it's yes. almost like a fresh story again. So let's see who's with us in the house. Now, I'm, I don't have my laptop, so I'm on the tiny um, edy bitty little kind of scroll. Oh, I see Edie's here in the house, Azure Sky. We've got Marvel Johnson. Um, someone's saying, Super Queen Bee, you must be a lover of Cookie Blast. What's Cookie Blast? Honestly, the, the conversations in the chat on this community <laughs> are more random than what we ask here. <laughs> I think it's a game. I, I think oh, it's is a game. it? I'll put Maybe. it up so, people, so you can see. Super Queen <laughs> B, you must be a lover of Cookie Blast. Don't know what that is. We have got Connie Champagne. Uh, who else are we? Uh, Joy Rico and many others. And so, um, of course, I will read those out as when and appropriate. Okay, so let me reach over for my tarot cards. So let's look at this very... It's, it's tragic, isn't it? When we're talking about the Alec Baldwin thing, he must just feel, I can't imagine how he's feeling. You're not expecting that. You're a successful star, established um, one of the cornerstones of sort of like Hollywood and the film industry for years. These things should be routine. And the last thing you are expecting, <clears throat> you're doing, you know, your camera action and the gun that you're firing has live rounds. Wow. Um, what I what I can say now, I do believe there are going to be some big changes. Um, they have to change the laws. What I can say, from my experience being on uh, on set, because I, I used to do a lot of extras work and stuff like that. So I've been in about about sixty movies. I would say, yeah, about sixty. Wow. Yes, quite quite. A lot. I, I do I do love being on set. Surprise, surprise. Big show <laughs> off here, and. Um, <laughs> So there have been many times where um, I've played military roles, for example. It could be things like with swords or firearms, etc. In the UK, obviously this is different for the States. In the UK, you have a designated armor, like armory. Like it would be 
a man and a woman or two guys or what have you, and they will, they are there specifically to check firearms. First of all, if we are using a firearm, it's demobilized in the sense of it's like literally blocked up so a bullet cannot be put in it and used. Oh, yeah, yeah I think it's we do literally that. blocked. <laughs> yeah, it's literally, it's not, it's, you know, so if it's, it's a, if it is a firearm that's a real one, it will be decommissioned in some kind of way. Most of the time, the firearms are fake, so they can't shoot a real bullet, even if they could. And even then, they have a special kind of cast iron box that comes in a truck. And you are not allowed to take that firearms, even the fake ones, offset for any reason. And you have to sign it in and sign it out each time. Even if you have to pop to the toilet or something like that, you give your firearm back, you do what you have to do, and then you come back and it's signed in and signed out each time. And that's to prevent accidents like this yeah. happening. Because if you think, for example, even a prop firearm at a distance, not even at that far a distance, it looks real. So, of course, if you're on set, because sometimes we do things on set outside, you can't be seen to be walking around with firearms, yeah? It, the police could get the wrong idea and you could be shot or what have you. So it is sad, unfortunately, that these protections don't seem to be in in place. So mm. I don't know, what, what, what aspect do you think we should read on Alec Baldwin? Maybe how he's feeling or what, what changes might happen in the future? And we've just got a donation. Thank you, Bronx Sage, for your donation. So generous. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Bronx. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's put that back there. Yeah, um, it's kind of like pulling cards, like from his perspective, like okay, what he's going to go through, and and maybe and maybe we could look at if they're going to change the law in some kind of way as well, because it's it's tragic. Mm. Okay, so what are we looking at now? Um, let's say what's the like what's in terms of what's the energy around Alec Baldwin, just okay. how he's feeling now. And then I think we should then look at the industry and to see if it's going to change because really they are two yeah. kind of separate things. Yeah. Exactly. For sure. For sure. So I did go ahead and um, pull some cards sure, while you guys are it. shuffling. So go I get the strength card to represent him. This is going to mm -hmm. take an enormous amount of inner strength and courage because now we're actually finding out that the cinematographer was his friend. So oh, it's not no. like he just shot a stranger on top of it. Like, oh. so this is really, and also too, you know, we should mention that um, as an actor, he has no liability, but because he is a producer, he actually does. Really? So yeah, as an actor, he'd be fine. But as a producer of that movie, Rust, um, he's going to have some liability. Wow. His obstacle is the tower card. So this is throwing his life into chaos, which Absolute I think is what chaos. we're seeing unfold. We're seeing it happen. Um, how could it not? I do see him going through the legal system. I get the oh, justice card. Oh, no. Lesson. So this is not going to be easy. This is going to be a real turning point for him. You know, Wheel of Fortune, he's coming into like karmic destiny and fate. Um, I did pull from my, because I brought up my Halloween Oracle cards. Mm -hmm. And so I got the death card. Wow. And it says the eternal cycle begins here. And so I think to me, the death is also about being reborn. It's not just an ending. But certainly it is referring to, well, there was a death, there was an injury. Yeah. I don't think this is going to kill his career, but I think maybe like a little part of him, the way he sees the world, maybe he doesn't feel quite the same anymore. Mm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, Lady G, what do you have? And thank you for those donations that have come in, by the way, everyone. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, first off, we have, you know, that he's... Uh, getting feedback other things from this you know fall out from it um the challenges for him to balance temperance you know temper what's going on with this also yeah he needs a lot of inner strength at this time trying to cling to it because of this death mm. is oh. it's a death of a friend of his you know they were close it was somebody that he knew and so that's haunting him. 
And what I get underneath of it all is he is uh, reminiscing about the good times that they had and everything. So it's just really playing with him, you know, with this. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. I can imagine him having to call her, her husband. And, and oh. oh, Lord. Right. Uh, it's just, it's it's unbelievable. Just... Unbelievable. Well, it's like, like you said, because it's, I mean, it's bad enough that the death has happened, but imagine like, like one of your best friends, like, exactly. it's it's even known unmanageable, it's un oh. un un unimaginable, unimaginable. Um, mm. Some people are just also mentioning um, as well. Do you remember there were those uh, before, before I read, there were those dreadful comments made by, was it one of Trump's sons or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Don Don Junior, Junior selling Junior those t-shirts. $28. Guns don't kill people. Alec Baldwin does. Yeah. Because he was, they're mad because Alec Baldwin played 45 on yeah. SNL for yeah, many brilliantly. years. Yeah, brilliantly. Yeah. And you, and you just think, yeah. you just think in terms of that vulgarity and everything, you, you think to yourself, it can't possibly get, get low, get low mm. with them. And there's just no standard when it comes to the Trumps, unfortunately. It's just, yeah. even, so what he played, he played, his father right. on SNL, it's you satire. know, whatever. Satire. It's satire. And you just think, and then it's not only just to say it, it's then to actually make money off it as well. You just think yeah. it's yes. just so utterly so vulgar, very Gross. extremely vulgar, extremely vulgar. Um, in regards to Alec Baldwin, the cards that I've got, there isn't, there's echo there as well, slightly different, but there are some echoes. So, here, um, I get false knights. And in a way, if we think about it, this is quite poignant because he was handed that gun thinking it was something else. Yeah. yeah? And yeah. this, as we know, this the false knight can be just turning something not as it's presented, uh, not being as what it presents. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. he was handed that gift, yeah, because the knight always got that gift. He was handed that, 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 that gun thinking of course that it was filled with blanks but it wasn't what it appeared the obstacle as you can imagine just like uh just like with lady g look mm. reminiscing about the past about this friend that he's lost and of course it's come in the obstacle position tragic i mean i just i just can't imagine it i mean it's just it's just terrible but if we look here so yes there is that change uh. in fortune yeah, so you, I think you've yeah. got the fortune card as well. Yeah. So we can see already the cards are, are echoing. But here we mm -hmm. are. But at least in this case, the wheel of fortune is the right, right way up. So what this suggests to me mm -hmm. is that eventually he will get over this. But this will be something that he'll be living with for the rest of his life. We know that, don't we? For the rest of his life. And this could also be reflecting him as the producer. You know, the King of Wands, of course, sure. is, is an entrepreneurial, you know, warm, charismatic man, etc., which I'm sure, you know, he is. And he's probably really not feeling like that right now, particularly as, as the producer. He's just like, oh, my goodness, this has happened. And inevitably, my outcome card is, is here. Look, he has to look to his future, uh, look to his future. But this also as well, could this also be the film industry? Maybe kind of looking at doing things differently, uh, maybe having different ships that come in. Mm -hmm. um, I think, Diane, you were saying on, on, on your channel, but it's very, very true. A lot of these people are very underpaid. And there are a lot of those oh, people gosh. that want to leave the industry as well. They probably sure. prosper. They're not even getting lunch breaks. Like these people aren't being allowed yeah. to eat and sleep. Wow. You know, like, why are we expecting that out of these people? It's ridiculous. And then they make mistakes, big surprise. Yeah, because because they're tired or like the guy, I mean, not to necessarily excuse him, but the person who shot the gun, loaded the gun, clearly was trying to let off steam in some kind of way. You know, wanted to shoot a few cans or entertain oh, right. himself. Yes, or, yes. Do you know what I mean? To Like, that's the yes. sense I get. It was just that frustration because so many of the people um, have started to leave the industry. They've started to look for other work because they sure. this is as we know this is prospecting looking at looking at the horizons and i remember um i actually one of my clients uh, worked on the film set and we literally had to do the consultation on the film set 
because she she didn't have a chance to have a break. And for yeah. us in the UK, this is unimaginable. We have that you have at least three breaks in the day. The main thing that the extras actually <laughs> talk about is the food. Wow. Yeah? yeah, we talk about okay. the food, and there's always tea breaks. There's always a tea caddy, biscuits, cake everything and then they bring stuff out you shoot for a few hours everyone takes a break the crew goes first actors and the crew they eat first to make sure that they're getting rested you know honestly it's yeah i'm just really surprised and actually quite disappointed that it's kind of these sort of almost slave conditions so people right, make they mistakes are. when they're tired don't they yeah. yeah okay oh i've just remembered something ladies i hope you don't mind Today is the 30th, isn't it? 30th of October. And once a month, yes. I need to pick a, pick a winner, one of my free readings. And the next time I'm going to be on is Wednesday, but that's November. So if, if you just excuse me, I just need to, I no, just need to pick, literally Come pick here. a name. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I, they said no, men no. can't multitask, but listen, I'm, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> Let me just quickly call out who this is. Who this is. Aha, Bob. So Bob Muller. Bob Muller, if you can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus. But anyway, Bob, you're getting a free reading. So get in touch with me because uh, you're one of, one of my members there. And um, just send that to contact at hogarthbrown.com and we'll arrange that free consultation uh, for one hour. There we are. Sorry, I got that out of the way. And for everyone who's watching as well, please like and subscribe to uh, Diane's, Lady G's, and my channel as well, if you like. So... Next question. So I had to quickly get that out of the way. Well done, Bob. Lucky you. Right. Let's talk about this document release that Joe Biden. So please uh, bring me up to speed, ladies. I understand that Joe Biden has got more on 45 than before. Um, could you give me yeah, a little context? Because so, I've not been able to see. So they did one document release already mm -hmm. that is going to the commission for you know the January 6th res um, that whole thing. And then um, 45 was trying to say, well, he has executive privilege again. He was going back to that. And no, he doesn't. He's no longer president. And so 47 more documents have now been released. That was on Monday. Wow. Mm -hmm. I wonder mm -hmm. what's in there. Well, I was, I was saying I wonder what's in there, but of course, I'm sure the cards will. Um, shall we, shall we have a good, little? Because he tried blocking. He tried blocking it so hard. Right. Let Let's do a read. Let's Let's see. Let's have a little. Let's see what the cards say about these documents and see if that will reveal. It's in there. Pardon me. Why Trump has been fighting so hard for those documents not to release. So re-release. So Spirit, what can you tell us about those documents that Biden? Is about to unleash on Dr. Orange. Ooh. Yes, yeah, what I say. Ooh. <laughs> oh, really? Yikes. Hot oh, and it's just, just a new member. Thank you so much, Stephanie Stately. There we are. So that sounds like you've got something there juicy there. Well, let me see. Um, yeah, this is turning out to be rather interesting. Documents. documents. Spirit, what can you tell us about? Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Seems like you got juicy stuff, ladies. Duckleron, okay, what's so in those documents? Do you want to go I first, will Diane? Go while you guys are doing your thing. So the very first card I get is judgment. Oh. And so this is something that is going to be judged. Indeed, it's not going to just um, be tossed to the side and look the other way. Um, it's going to cause 45 to feel burdened and oppressed. He did not want this to come out. Mm -hmm. It has to do with the U.S. and money changing hands. So right. he's obviously done something with some of our cash during this time. And then we get our friend here, which, you know, oftentimes when I oh. do these readings, it represents him. Yeah, I'm um, doing his fiendish, dirty deeds. <laughs> yes. And then with my Halloween deck, I get the spider card. Oh, and it says Ooh. community and web weaving. And so what kind of, you know, tangled web did he weave when trying to deceive? Um, and it affects the community. It affects all of us. So wow. that's wow. why he was trying to block it out. 
Oh, and we've just had we've just had over five hundred people join us so wow. far. I've just been seeing the numbers just been quietly going up. Wow. Lady G, what do we what do you have? And I'm gonna use some clarifiers as well. Okay. Um, and yeah. Nexus Oracle clarifiers. Tower. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. moment um so yeah right. it's not going to be pretty for him the challenge is you know coming to an end with this you know putting it out there it's going to bring not only he but the other people that were so emotionally involved with it the ones that were um you know giving him all of this clarification as to what he could do <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So this is uh, charging forward, wanting to look at the truth of this, charging forward, and he is really down in a hole. Wow. Looking up with this one, 10 of swords. Yeah, just stab me oh. in the back, stick a fork in me, I'm done. So he's really <laughs> down there, you know, feeling like, ah! <laughs> and he should. <laughs> Not only what? him, but a number of them are, are um, that what they want to look at with him is the phone because he's he doesn't do as much. Yes. He does a lot of phone things. Yeah, he doesn't like to, like to leave a trail, does he? My goodness. Yeah. Or he doesn't know how to write well. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's so he's you know like when when I tune in with his energy, I I would say you know Duck Laurent. He's he's such a reptile, and when I yeah. tune in with him, snake. <laughs> what I can, yeah, but I remember seeing um a little digression. But we know you know David Attenborough, yeah. Have you heard of David Attenborough? Who does all the nature shows? That incredible voice. And I remember he did a special on some island way out. It was near Papua New Guinea or some, something like that. But anyway, on this island, they have this type of lizard called the Komodo dragon. Yes. Yeah. I like the and it's like this. or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it it looks like um it looks like one of one of Trump's bodyguards. Was it that macaroni guy? What is it? Or was it calamari? I don't know. They all seem to be named after food. <laughs> you know, to work for Donald Trump, you know, it's got to be like Mr. Lasagna, you know, Madame, you know, cheesecake or what have you. Anyway, they're all named after food. But if you see this Komodo dragon, it's this very kind of beefy thing. And what it does is it puts on this big show. And what it does is, um, it, but what it does is it waits. It hides out and it waits because it, it can't do long sprints. It can sprint, but it's got to conserve its energy. And what it does is it, a deer might be nibbling nearby or something like that. And it will literally bite it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it won't be like an alligator where it will then continue and it will turn and chew and stuff like that. It waits. And what it does is the Komodo da dragon, its biggest weapon is not its physicality, it's its saliva. Yeah. It has a type of saliva which has got this terrible bacteria in it. It's yeah. just awful. It manufactures it in its mouth. What it does is the Komodo dragon bites and infects its victim and in many ways this for me is like an analogy of donald trump he has bitten some part of the psyche of the american people and this poison has just seeped and seeped into the body and what actually happens is the komodo dragon just walks slowly along and basically the animal is collapsed it's, it's overwhelmed by the poison. So I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. But when I think of Trump, that's what I think of the Komodo dragon. I know a bit long winded, but do you see what I mean? No, but you know what's it's funny about saliva. that, though? Because mm -hmm. like when people ask me, like, oh, so what are the extraterrestrials that are influencing him or that he's working mm -hmm. with? And people always say, you know, reptilians or the Orions. And I'm like, no, it's it's the Dracos. I've always gotten it's the Dracos. Really? So it's funny that you say that. Yeah. That's what I see. The, it's it's a dragon energy. It's it's more than just a snake or a lizard. It's something. Honestly, and check it out. The Dracos are nasty ETs that you don't want to deal with. Yeah. And... Yeah. Yeah. That's his energy. Mm -hmm. as well. That's, and I've always felt it that way. So, yeah, very interesting that. Thanks. Thanks for sharing that. So here we are. You know, when we're talking about Duck Larange, there's got to be lots of coins involved. Yeah. The only one that can get more coins than this is 10. But look, you'll see it's reversed. 
So we know when the card is the right way up, they're feeling, well, it's feeling what? Confident. This is a card of, like you said, confidence, being affluent, having absolutely everything you need, and being self-sufficient. But now it's this way. So A, it can speak about that corruption as well, dark money and all that stuff that is surrounded with dark orange, which we know it always comes up. But this too as well can be, we can take it literally, if we take the picture and invert it as, as it is here, and this is the absence of security. I don't think he feels as financially secure as he did before because we know there are a lot of debts in the pipeline. Yes, he's been given some money, but the hole that he has, like, you know, like if we think like with Ganga's card earlier, is so big that hundreds of millions is still not quite enough. So I think there's an aspect. But you know what, though? I got that card, too, when I did the ah. reading and on my channel. And that's yeah. my card for Ivanka. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. That's how that I looked sense. at it. Because I got the same card as an obstacle. And I was like, oh, that's her. Oh, Something's yeah. going on with her. And I remember it went um, ages ago, like when I was saying in the astrology as well. Do you mean, I mean, I, everyone's saying, oh, a woman will bring him, bring him down. But I've been saying this sort of like since like my channel started, basically. And I've always said there'll be something that Ivanka or comes out about Ivanka that could. Un I hadn't thought of that. I think you're right. Yeah. When we look, what's the obstacle? America. Mm. America kind of stepping forward and stepping out and basically rejuvenating itself. This is about mm. uh, wish fulfillment, isn't it? Fulfilling, um, being at one with the cosmos. So this is basically the realignment of America is Trump's obstacle because he wants to invert America. But this is coming the right way up. So he doesn't want America to rejuvenate himself because he knows he won't have a future. Look at the next card. Uh, we're getting all the same cards. The three getting the same cards. So here we are. Yeah. When, it's re when, it's, when it's reversed, of course, it can mean the sword's falling out. But in this context, when we're talking about Duck Larange and these papers, there could be something very devastating that's, that's in there. But maybe could this lead to a healing in the USA as well? You know, there could be that mm. aspect too. Uh, Trump does not like what's in it, not anything that's in it, doesn't want anything to do with it. He's like, get that away from me because it's about what? All of his juggling money mm -hmm. overseas yeah. and all overseas. of this, you know, his scandalous stuff. Mm -hmm. And I pulled one of the cards um, from the A Nexus Oracle uh, deck. Um, I forget the owner's name, Hannah, I think it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry if I've, I've got your name wrong. But I've pulled out one of her cards and look what it's about. So propriety. So that means there's something deeply inappropriate yeah. in those papers. And look again, it's a woman. So could that mm. be something again to do with Ivanka, perhaps? Maybe. Anything else you ladies want to add to that? Or are you ready for the next mm. um, question? Ready to go. Ready. <laughs> we, we pretty much pulled the same cards, didn't we? It's happened yeah, we all like, the time. You know, we all had the Ten of Swords, I think, yeah. Happens I mean, even time. like, you know, the Nine of Pentacles. I even got that on my own channel. So, yeah, yeah that's crazy. Remarkable. Oh, it, it's, it, but it shows, you know, you know we're, we're in sync and it means we're all accessing source in the same way and yeah. we're pretty much getting the same message, even though we're thousands of miles apart, quite literally. Because, um, Lady yeah. G, you're in New Me Mexico. Diane, you're in New England. And I'm across the Atlantic yes. and it's still the same. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so let's look at Brian Laundry. Yeah, let's look oh, at Brian, Brian Laundry. So, mm -hmm. I mean, my little thing, I mean, I I mean, I think he's dead, but I think there could be more to it too. So, but I'm not sure. I'm very far away from it. I'm going to take your I'm going to take the both of yours lead on this one. Brian Laundry. Brian Laundry. What's going on? spirit is there anything more that you can share with us about this very tragic and unusual you know what i'm getting in my mind i can hear the music of twin peaks you know <laughs> twin peaks that mm -hmm. that iconic thing from the 90s with kyle mclaughlin i think it is and i'm just hearing that music that dum dum 
you know, dung, dung, you know, and, and it was a bit weird and surreal. Do you remember? I feel like there's a whiff of that with this laundry case. It is strange. I must there's say. just something that isn't right. I mean, the parents mm. won't accept the death. So they sent the body to an anthropologist, but then they're saying, well, we're just going to go ahead and cremate it. So we're not wow. going to have a funeral. And, you know, the father found the bag, which was near the body. He tampered with evidence. The police was right there. He didn't get them. He strayed off. He wouldn't even yell for the police because he didn't want to um, alert a reporter. What? So, and now they're denying that it's him, even though there's evidence what? that's saying, the evidence is saying that the dental records belong to him and the family's saying no. So there that's is something more there. It was also not the family that reported him missing. It was actually their attorney. Really? Wow, that volumes. is strange. That yeah. is very odd. Situation with Ryan Laundry then. Spring, what can you tell us? What's the situation with Brian Laundry? That is very unusual. Because you would think they've found the they've they they they've said that it's him, the dental records. You would think that would be the end of it. But why are they denying? And it's, it's not. Him. So That's strange. do they know something? Did they do something? Like, what is this? That's very odd. So I get the judgment card, which makes me feel like this just isn't over. This isn't totally over. I think that there's going to be more judgment calls made. Um, I wouldn't even be surprised if there was something legal coming up. The obstacle, you know, here's the sort of truth. So there is at least something that we're not being told. There's at least more to the story. Um, I think the family is really bickering, arguing, fighting. I don't think that house is a good place to be. Wow. Not because they're grieving, because that I could understand. But when I go into their energy, that's not really what I'm feeling. Yeah. It's very confusing. What I'm feeling is, and also when I go into Brian's energy, it feels very confusing. I have not made any contact with him on the other side. Um, I've tried reaching out to him. I can't find him. So I don't know what's going on. Wow. Um, there was some kind of offer with money, Page of Pentacles. And somebody's persevering. So there's somebody that's still putting one foot in front of the other. And then with my Halloween cards, I get the werewolf, which literally says exploring the wilderness. So mm, there was just more to the story. I don't have an explanation other than I don't think we're being told the truth. Wow. Wow. Okay. Lady G, what do you have? What do you have? Okay. Well, we've got the seven of swords here and it, that's the card in this deck of beware, you know, something fishy mm. is going on. Okay. And it has to do with an action that's been taken. Um, We've got here, you know, this is usually the card of balance and the energy and things, but we have, I wanted clarification. We had the journey and night. So some things are not adding up. We've got the journey and then we've got the hidden things, you know, that are still flying around at the night. We've got the wish fulfilling card. Okay. Wish fulfilling card. And we've got a lot of, uh, confusion and a lot of you know things up in the air and uh yeah so we we don't have the whole story there was something wow. that happened journey at night um again you know you could have a dental record if there's only a few teeth if you haven't done the dna you know it, it, it's like I'm, really i'm like did they actually go as far as manipulate some corpse did they do something? Wow. Yes, because I also can't find him. I don't know. Have any of you guys tried finding him? Because I can't find him. I can't find wow. him here or there. So I yeah. don't know where. Wow. I don't know if he's wow. earthbound or something. I, I can't find him. That is unusual. Wow. That's very interesting. Yeah, just very odd. The cards, the cards that I've I've got. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to go, and again, I, I often can get some, something different as well in terms, in terms of, um, in terms of uh, just, just, just from where, from where I am. So look, I, this is the card that I've got that I pull out here. So look, it's the two of wands. 
And the two of ones, oh, thanks for the donation, by the way. So there's, let me just, just do a little kind of readout. So Bronx Sage, yes. And Dr. Liz, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Thank you, Liz. Liz. Thank you. And we'll, and we'll do a few more call outs uh, once we finish this. Oh, we're now just over 700 people joining us now. Thank you so much, everyone, for um, joining us on the show tonight as we have a little dig around. So if we look here, we know the two of ones is about making plans, isn't it? Making plans. And, and again, it's prospecting, but literally the person has got the world in its hands. When it's reversed, this can mean a, a, a block of plans or some kind of plan has been foiled, perhaps. But the, it's just interesting that the card of plans comes up. So what I have here, now I got this, I remember I got this last time. Look, I've got the world card. And isn't this interesting? Now, for me, when I think about this, I think, okay, maybe his cycle has come to an end. Yeah, there could be that. But again, like you mentioned, Diane, could this be that there is something else going on with a larger distance of something like that? But I just find it interesting that I pull up this card again. It comes up to him again. So it could be the end of the cycle. The next card I get, this is a curious one, mm. which is the victory card. Now, why would anyone be feeling victorious if right. they're supposed to be dead? Unless, could it be, I mean, dare we speculate? Could it, I mean, I think it could be him, but what if it is someone else? If, let's, let's go, let's go into just, let's just go into pure, well, I mean, this is speculation, of course, entertainment uh, for entertainment purposes only, but let's go with another theory. Let's just say that it's not him, yeah? Let's just entertain the idea. So that means that that certain someone is prospecting. Let's say Brian Lottery could be prospecting, but he might have to lay low. If it's not him, he's going to have to what? Stay still. He can't move around. This is the opposite of moving around. The energy of the world card suggests long distances of some kind or being somewhere that is a lot more spacious. It's not small. It's the, it's the, it's the end of the cycle. But we also know the world card can also mean what? New beginnings. Yeah. This happens when a person's life has come to a certain end and reaches a new phase, just speculating. And then if this is the case and the world is thinking that Brian is no longer here, then that would constitute a certain kind of victory, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm just going with this. And then we get the pentacles. Oh, that's what I got too. Oh, yeah. did you? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So, I mean, we know the pentacles, they're all about messages. And uh, I know that, Ace, um, sorry, the um, page of pentacles can also be about learning and study like that. But it's about messages. But does this mean that a message is being suppressed or someone knows something and they're kind of keeping it back? Because pages are about messages. This would be about holding a message back. Maybe someone knows something. And then I get the strength card. Hmm. but reversed so this is there is this element as well of irrespective when we think about the parents for example they are having to kind of deal with the strength card in some shape or form obviously at this moment it's not necessarily the right way up for them you know it's more of a struggle right. to maintain this strength but it shows they're trying to maybe hold the fort in some way and then when i pull the clarifier from the nexus um oracle deck look what i get options options and yeah. there shouldn't be options somebody just said his uncle is a dentist right who identified the rep who verified oh my See, goodness none of this makes sense. honestly this i'm hearing that mm, sorry twin yeah. peaks music go on uh, I just looked <laughs> underneath of it what's going underneath of it and we've got taking flight Okay, taking flight uh, to strengthen the situation, you know, when it comes to upending truth, but there's still going to be a tower, tower mm -hmm. moment underneath of it all. Do you know what? Let's so, yeah, happen. if his uncle's a dentist for Pete's sakes, so I'm sure he's got that lots of things. Teeth. Yeah. And that would also be why they're so fast to try to cremate the remains. Exactly. Because yeah. further testing. Because 
Because because the thing is, if it's not him, Who you need it? to get rid of the evidence. Yeah, exactly. Can we look yeah. into that? Should we look into that? Why are they cre cremated? Yeah, Please? you've really got me thinking now. And like just my own cards as well. And yeah, everyone else's. Someone, you've I got mean, me who thinking. Would cremate someone that you're saying isn't even your son. Like, I mean, I wouldn't get cremate some evidence. strangers. Yeah, right, exactly. Whatever is there. Yeah. Exactly. Because you wouldn't just cremate a stranger. No. Wow. Hopefully. With you saying the <laughs> uncle is a, with the in the chat saying the uncle is a dentist. Oh man, that just really takes it to another level. Yeah. But that's what they used was the dental records. Wow. Okay. And why they were able to get them so quickly. That was like immediate. Those That is true because that, that was fast, wasn't it? That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking it was so very they, quick. Could they take somebody else's dental records and put his name on it? And just tap this is the thing. As well? Oh, my God. Like with those cards. Oh, a card has leapt out. I've had a card jump out. Look at this. Okay, this is the card that jumped out. So uh, here. Mm -hmm. Something kind of moving forward rapidly at pace. Wow. Okay. Oh my so God. same thing. To... First card. Same first Wait. card. Knight of Swords. Same. Okay. No. But you have to see the card that I got. This is the Halloween deck, right? It says yeah. ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. Oh, oh stop! I literally <laughs> no. Oh my God. I'm not even joking. Okay. I mean, I just did like a whole I've got thing goosebumps. with these for my members, and I didn't even get this card once. Didn't even know this was in there. I I've got goosebumps, the and then and then Lady G and I picked the same card. You saw it; it fell out. My it f something. Mm, mm. Wow, mm -hmm. wow. So, um, what are we what are we asking? We're asking about the dental record. Why? No, why? No. Why? Cremation. Why are cremation, they doing yeah. the cremation? Why the cremation? Okay. Why yeah. the cremation? Why the cremation? So, oh, this is spooky. Oof. Yeah, this is so creepy. So I get the high priestess, right? Hidden agendas, motives, Hidden secret agendas. motives, yeah. things that you don't know, things going on behind the scene. With the obstacle being my card for a legal battle. You know, so I think they're trying to avoid a legal situation, which is obvious, him going to jail. Mm -hmm. They, you know, hanged man. They're stalling things. They're, wow. you know, prolonging um, him getting caught for as long as possible. I get the five of wands again. You know, they're really bickering and arguing. So I'm going to say the family is not all in agreement. This is not, not going united. smoothly. Yeah. And then I end up with the moon. You know, oh. you don't see clearly in the moonlight, disillusionment, hidden things, almost, you know, like the high priestess in that sense. There is just so much more. There's something dark. Yep. My cards, my goodness. Uh, Lady G, what do you have? Well, I also had the, the night, you know, rushing, rushing forward with this stuff. Now, I got the 10 of uh, pinnacles, but I think in this case is Mama Bear and the family. Yeah, family. Bear. Doing family legacy. Bizarre. Yeah. Um, well, family that, legacy. And that's kind of what my card literally said. Legacy. DNA. Of DNA. Yeah, exactly. From taking this action, you know, because this is so front and center with people. So affecting so many people's emotions about this death. Okay. So they're trying to skew the information, get rid of it as quickly as oh. they can. Yeah. Shivers. Shivers. Just, Honestly, shivers. Yeah, I just got it too. It just went right up the spine, this mm. little cool tingle like. Ah. <laughs> wow. Mm. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> okay, my cards. And what I did was I, with my Nexus deck, Nexus Oracle, I shuffled it, pulled out a card. Wasn't really sure about it. I'm like, really? Put it back in, shuffled, shuffled again. Picked out the same, same card. card. Right, okay, so yeah, you're not getting it. away with this, Hogarth. Just read the card. Oh, I'm just gonna yeah. read. I'm just gonna read. And we now got eight two eight two nine with us now. Eight two nine, huh? guys. This is like a Halloween vibe. This show. I think Seriously. something very interesting is going on. So just before yeah. I read, I want to thank um, Michelle J M. Thank you so much for your donation. 
and Dr. Uh, Liz Irwin, thank you so much. And I think I've got a new member, Lenny Marie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, something special is happening here, ladies, uh, as we can see. Um, okay, <clears throat> the cremation, mm -hmm. why? Look at this, embattled, yeah, embattled. But this as well, this character here is known for what? His cunning <clears throat> and his fortitude um, and resilience. And this is someone that is embattled. Of course, the family's been, been embattled and they're like, we need to kind of get through this. But this is also a shrewd character. It's someone that is shrewd and resourceful. So that says, says, says something. Look what comes out in the obstacle. Yeah. The uh, family comes. Same. Yeah. <laughs> family. Yeah. But it's reversed. Something's going on here with the family. Do you remember you were getting the five of wands and something like that? And it's come up in the obstacle position. Someone's just mentioned that the uncle as well is a dentist and, you know, mm -hmm. and I still keep hearing, like I said, that Twin Peaks music. Yeah. Where, and that was a very surreal and strange. Remember, they had to find out who killed blah, 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 and it just got more and more odd. Look at my next card. Ah, you too. Okay. Me as well. Ow. They're squabbling. Yeah. This is, they've got different. Uh, so it could be the case of like, Say like maybe the uncle's involved, maybe you know the the you know the husband, the it's, wife, uh, if he's got any siblings yeah. or whatever. But there's a lot going on behind the scenes. There is a lot. What is it about? Could this be Brian Laundry in retreat somewhere? Yeah? yeah, I mean, on one level, it could be. Is it the end? However, with these cards that we've been getting, I just mm, you know I'm like mm, this is someone in hiding. Yeah. Maybe that's someone in hiding. We've also gotten here, it says mom, the mom worked for the DA and got another uncle that's a policeman. They've got real high connections as well. Oh, oh Matt, the but plot look thickens. at the cards we've been pulling. Yeah. It's all been to do with family. You got the DNA. I, literally, I've got here, just here as well. I picked out the family card as well. Yeah. Oh, this is extraordinary. So here we are, <clears throat> there's options on the table, but they're not liking the options. So whatever's going on, this is obviously, it's not easy, not easy. And the cards that I picked twice, see what you guys think of this. Um, solid, firm, solid, firm. And to me, it's almost like, if you think solid, firm, it's like they're trying to it's like they're trying to Solidify it. keep yeah. something together. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like they're trying to hold something together. And it's almost like if we can just stay together, stay united, then yeah. maybe we'll win, you know, because I got the victory card before. But it looks like mm. it's very difficult for them. But it also shows that there's other actors involved and obviously maybe the yeah. relatives. And thanks so much, Edie, as well, for your, uh, for your donation. You're so generous. Thank you. Um, I can't get it to, oh dear, it's frozen now. Oh God, I should not. For some reason I can't. It's frozen now. Oh no, I got it to go. There we are. There we are. All good. Wow. Wow. I think that's, oh. I, so I just strange. think that is very, very interesting. And I think that was actually quite spooky there. My yeah. goodness, I wasn't mm. expecting that at all. There was, the cards had a lot to say for all of us. Yeah. Okay, so let's move on to the China missiles. This, um, yes. what's the, what is it that they've done? Do you guys know a bit more about the story than I do? Because I'm really not sure. I just know I they've got about it. Diane's I mean, they... going to have to fill us in because I know nothing. That's her, but but yeah, they, they're running tests on um, missiles that mm -hmm. can actually get us. Um, this it seems like they are pretty much made just for us. And, you know, it, they can have like a, a smaller, deadlier payload. So it's a little bit easier for them to get it. It's not as big and huge as the other ones. It's better technology. Um, I oh know India God. has been very upset about it, you know, because they're, you know, India's yeah. getting riled up about this also, which is making them, you know, start testing their things. And, um, but yeah, I mean, we, I mean, you know, our generals are very upset. They've been on TV you know, saying this is a really big moment. Because so it was a surprise, wasn't it? 
It was a surprise, wasn't it? Oh yep. my goodness. Oh, that's yeah, that that's scary. Yeah, that is scary. Okay, let's let's read on that. Um okay, so we can either read about the the system. Shall we kind of like read what is the intent? What what is China's intent? Because okay. obviously as well like for us in the west it's easy for us to miss maybe misinterpret China's intentions yeah. or whatever. So we we obviously we have to try and have an open mind as well. But I'm sure just like with Brian Laundry the cards the are going to come forward. Yeah. What's China's intent? What's China's intent? What's China's intent? And of course, this is the regime, not the Chinese people. This is the regime no, that right. we're talking about. And we know the regime is really, mm, really mm, cool. quite something. What is China's intent by this? And what do the missiles just stay up there, or is it like a launch system or satellites? It or? is a launch system. Right. Um, not quite sure exactly how missiles work, but um, you know, it's faster, deadlier. Must be connected with to their go satellites. Undetected. Yeah, because China's got a lot of satellites. I know that. I think more sure. than yeah. most countries in the world. China's China's intent. What is China's intent? Intent. What's the regime's intent? This is a big deal, and I, I it was a shock apparently for everyone. So they've obviously they're very good. I mean, it was like with that launch. Do you remember they're on the dark side of the moon as well? And it was a complete surprise. They just announced the landing. Right. You know. You know. Which in a way is, I mean, it's, it's almost in a way, you know, like, do you remember once upon a time when Beyonce dropped an album at midnight? Yeah. And it was a complete shock to everyone. <laughs> maybe, maybe the regime were like, oh, you know, she's pretty good on that one. Because that was a real surprise for everyone. What, what, <laughs> cards, what cards do you um, okay. have, Diane? Oh, my God. I'm thinking the same thing. Um, so the first one I get is the tower. Mm. So... You know, this is creating a tower moment. It certainly is for our military. Our military is definitely up in arms. They are nervous. Um, the obstacle is the card of like the ruthless battle, abuse of power. So um, yeah, I mean, nothing good. I mean, well, we're looking at intent, but I mean, they are able to persevere. I mean, that's the thing. They, they will keep going. They're not going to stop. Um, they are cunning, that sort of thing. They can, you know, do what needs to be done. But as we're looking at intent, I do get the death card. So, mm -hmm. you know, that is their intent. Um, I also get the devil. So, um, oh. you know, sort of malicious intentions. And then with the Halloween deck, I get the skull of darkness, which is blind spots. Uh. And I think that's the whole thing with this is that it kind of hits our blind spots. We can't see it coming as well as like the bigger ones, the ones with them. Um, you know, the, the less technology than what these have. So, mm -hmm. I like yeah, so their intent is, is are these cool? Um, yeah. 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 Yes, the Halloween, Halloween Oracle. Oracle. Oh, that's I, I cool. I pull it out every, have to, every year. I may have Beautiful. to have that one. That is very cool. Oh and it's gosh, actually but... quite accurate for being yeah. a Halloween Oracle deck. Exactly. So, yeah. Yes. I've it's literally had just on. had a card, card jump out. And also as well, I was just thinking, Diane, with your card as well, People didn't know. We've only just found out. Yeah. We've only just found right. out. And they've been so working they're... on it forever. And so that's another wow. blind spot. Yes. Yes. Wow. Lady G, what, what, what do you have? Okay. Well, what I have is, you know, things are rapidly moving forward when it comes to the space race and, you know, domination, et cetera, sure. et cetera. So the obstacle is they're looking for their best way to take actions moving forward. Um, next thing I had was the page. So uh, something new coming out, technology in the world, and I wanted to have a uh, clarification. So this is about them, um, you know, looking forward and uh, just accessing, looking at uh, their action, what they can do, because they want to, we know it's all about for them, domination and being the higher element and uh, keeping people tied up, keeping them 
we're mm -hmm. keeping them, you know, wow. saying, look what we've got. So you best be uh, not playing any games with us. So, yeah. My goodness. Bully, My goodness. You know, bully stuff. That's that's it. Right. Yeah. The bully, bully tactics. Yeah. Oh, gosh. All right. So, Okay. In terms of the situation, what's what's this all about? What's the what's the intentions and stuff like that? So I get here the victory card, yeah, the the victory card, but I get it reversed. And when the card is reversed, it is said to be it can also represent falling from a great height. Mm -hmm. Does maybe the regime in China intend for a certain country to fall from a great height? Yeah. When we think about America, mm, mm. could be something there. Could be something there. Um, when we look in the the set, the card in the second position, look here. Big, there's big money behind this. Oh, we've just gone over nine hundred, by the way. So thank you guys, everyone, for joining us tonight. I mean, that's a lot of people. Thank you. Um, look, so there's there's big money behind this, and this, in many ways, could be you know, if we think in terms of like the Chinese government you know, on that kind of like level, as we understand, I mean, it's, it's just, it's just huge. It's, it's absolutely massive. The, the, the machine also as well. Um, we also know as well that China is becoming a much more dominant economy. Yep. And this is why this is a, a is a tricky time. And like, uh, just to digress a little with the GOP. And I was, do you remember I was saying, I said, if America passes the deal, then America will become the wonder of the world. But I said that the not passing, it doesn't bear thinking about. It really doesn't. It has to pass because China yeah. is waiting for America to fall from a great height. And they've got big money behind this, but also as well, there's big money involved in the GOP as well. And they've got to wake up. They've really got to wake up. Look at the next card I get. I get yeah. the death card as well. We're picking the same cards. It's yeah. remarkable. Again and again. Mm -hmm. Again and again. So if we look here, I mean, either which way, which way you look at, I mean, this is this 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 isn't so great. We know that that death is about you know renewal, etc., and stuff, but it's come reverse. This is about not wanting to let go of something. Yeah, not wanting to let yeah. go of something, not wanting to move on in a way, and also as well, this is this is trying to not wanting to let go of their power as well. But if you look at it in this context. I see this almost being some kind of correction for America, some insurance policy against the states. This is really what I'm seeing it as. If we look here, there's different options on the table. And it's this can also be the case of it's not only China has the options, but I think this is more like we don't like or the west or america yeah. do not like the options that are on the table because things are beginning to change we're also dealing with climate change and stuff like that as well and if i look at this from the western perspective of what this means this is actually starting to get really quite uncomfortable isn't mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. and again but look there's disagreement this new break this new revelation has put everyone into disarray what to do about it? Because where China has been immensely clever, like when they announced their moon landing, they announced it when it landed. Yeah? yeah. You can't do anything about it. And it's like with this weapons missile system, it's already in place. Mm -hmm. So now everyone's in a spin, do you see? So it's really difficult. And then for my clarifier cards, I got, look, focus, the focus mm -hmm. card, and it says here, a spectacular finish. Oh, dear. So I hope that's, do you know what I mean? Make of that what, what, what you will. So, oh, it's a, bit, it's a bit tricky, isn't it? It's a bit tricky. Look at that. The hour has whipped yes. by already. <laughs> um, shall we take a quick look at Meta and then to, to close the show? Sure. Oh, sure. All right. Let's take a quick look at Meta. What's this? They used him since I... I the chat has just gone crazy, by the way. I, I can't see everything Hello. that's in the chat. <laughs> so Meta. So this is Facebook's branching out, from what I understand, into a new alternate reality. And the whistleblower, Hagen, or, um, or Hogan, 
was on UK TV, UK News, to do the whole expose again. And she said she finds the meta thing terrifying. And she said for it to work, she said uh, Facebook is going to have to install cameras and microphones everywhere. And she said they are literally going to be watching and listening to our every move. That's what she said. And she also accused them of facilitating genocide in Myanmar and Ethiopia. So this is just really dark stuff now. And I looked at Mark Zuckerberg's chart. For those of you that are members, <clears throat> you, would have, you would have seen that. And it's, it's very dark. It's, his, chart, his chart creeps me out, even more than Steve um, Bannon's chart. Oh, jeez. Yeah, honestly. Zuckerberg's chart really spooks me. It's a very creepy chart. I've gotten such a creepy feeling from him. Just yeah, kind of otherworldly. Not there. Yeah, There's something alien. Alien. Yeah, feels very not, alien. Not, not nice alien. Mm. Yeah, just yeah. just not just not something's not quite right. And Almost his, robotic. His, yeah, and his moon as well. There's planets with his moon and that connection i mean i can't say too much on here because this is live but yeah anyway there's a lot going on there with him All thank right. you darcy uh, meta what's going on with meta so both of the whistleblowers have been women right oh is there another one because the one in the u.s was a woman and the one in the uk is a woman oh no it's the same so it's the same woman sorry is it it's the, the same, same woman? woman yeah it's the same woman H Hogan, something her name's H Hogan, but she's very okay. intelligent, very bright, very articulate, and she just yeah. laid it there, laid it there. Okay, so it's the same one because I'm yeah, getting the one. Queen of Swords, you know, oh, so a woman be her. who's well spoken, um, you know, who's she's fair and balanced, mm -hmm. sees both sides of the issue, analytical, you know, this is someone who's smart. Um, the obstacle is the sort of truth here, um, the truth coming out. And I think that's more of an obstacle for Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg than the rest of us, but, you know, certainly an obstacle. Um, it's going to create a tower moment for him. Um, I, I do suspect that Facebook at some point is going to be broken up. It's not going to look the same and it's going to oh. cause him to feel sad and, you know, feeling grief and sorrow and all that. But when I look at the Halloween deck, I get the apple, which is risk and reward. So Ooh. this is a very calculated risk that he is hoping is going to pay off. Mm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Okay. So have you finished, Diane? I just wanted to check. I am. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. All right. Very interesting. Lady G, what do you have? Well, first I got, he's trying to do a victory lap, some way to, to uh, manage it because he wants to stay the emperor. He wants to stay in charge. So he is trying to calculate what is the best action that he can take. But what we have here is going to be out in the cold, okay, facing wow. losses, uh, because these things are being juggled and it's time to balance this. Mm. Time to take away some of his power. Okay. Yeah, let's see, yeah. hopefully. And Patricia Franzina <laughs> saying Zuckerberg doesn't blink much. It's a blank out of stare. <laughs> <laughs> a little oh. reptilian. Krista's in. Hello, Krista. Hello, Krista. So, uh, <laughs> a, 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 a client of mine. Okay. I know we're over, so I'm going to try. I'm going to be trying to be quick about this. So, Facebook, what's it all about? Oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you. And we had one from Darcy as well. Thank oh, you. Oh, thank you, Darcy. So, what's face? What was Facebook all originally about? It was all supposed to be about what? Getting touch. With, getting in touch with family, wasn't it? Family, nostalgia, finding friends, people that we've not seen for a long time, all of that do does, yeah? But what is what is it becoming? Oh dear, look, there's some kind of secret yeah. deal. <laughs> there's some kind of secret deal being brokered here somewhere. Yeah. This is but also as well, we could also see that as well as breaking of the social contract as well. Mm -hmm. Because then mm -hmm. when this card is reversed, that can also mean a break of trust as well. So we all thought Facebook was all about family, getting in touch with people, putting up little ads here. But now there is this sense of betrayal or, you know, lack of trust. Yeah. 
what deals have they been making? And of course, we also know about, um, you know, the Russia, the 2016 campaign, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton, QAnon. all of this going on, QAnon, Myanmar, mm -hmm. genocide being, a, you know, mm -hmm being facilitated but not only that it's the it's the the bulimia the the facebook you know i mean the instagram and all that stuff so this is representing like a break of contract yeah um there's we don't have the trust there anymore but they want to go ahead with what a new project yeah a new and ambitious project and it's been one that they've been planning and cooking for a long time this is the man who is reaping the harvest yeah. of these grapes, yeah? He's bit, you know, you can't make wine overnight. You, the vines take time to mature. The grapes have to come out. And so this has been something probably that he's been prospecting and thinking about from the beginning, to be honest, yeah? And, but now the truth's coming out. They're not quite sure what to do, yeah? So they have to see right. what's going to happen. They are making lots of choices, and I think it's going to be up to Congress and all those kind of stuff to see if they break Facebook up or not. But it suggests that, you know, they obviously they want to go forward with things, but it looks like they're waiting to see what will, what will happen, what will happen, because this is a massive undertaking, and they don't have people's trust right now. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, people are saying, true. well, what else is there? And we can't really allow you to do what? What is it that you want to do? So people are like, mm, mm, not sure about this. So anything to add to that before we before we sign off? I don't think so. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. I, I think this was a brilliant show. Um, we had over, nine, over 900 people attending. So again, thank you so much for joining us. The chat is just going um, bonkers, <laughs> riveting, and uh, there we are, all, all that kind of stuff. Don't have enough time for it to um, to <laughs> read it out. Oh, God, now it's really going. Yeah. Ah, what's going on? <laughs> all right. So, so there's that. So I want to say thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Absolutely. There just wasn't enough yeah. enough time to that tonight. The, the laundry, Brian Laundry, for me, that was spooky. Yeah. Let's just see what happens. That was spooky. The synchronicity between our cards tonight was like second to none. We always kind of pull the same cards. We were practically pulling the same things. Yeah. And let's see, I suppose, what happens next week. So, again, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your support. Um, the details as well of uh, Diane and Lady G, I put in the description below as well, as usual, if you want to also look at and subscribe their channels. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Ladies, fantastic pulling tonight. Really good. <laughs> really made me think about quite a lot of things. And thanks as well for the contribution from the chat as well, adding so much. So I think anyone watching this video, once it's up and they catch up, Let's look at those kind of revelations because all of that stuff with the family I thought was very interesting. But I'll leave it there because we're going to run over too long. Thanks, everyone, for joining Thank us. You. And see you, you soon. Everyone. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>